look lovely. Okay, well, we're 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 nice Everybody wave. Now without the tape. Sorry, folks. I proudly see and the twilight has luncheon we're having after the ceremony. I, I suppose that some of you would like to know how and why we made this time capsule. Well, last September we began our first unit in social studies by talking about such ideas as artifacts, ancestors, and descendants. It was then that we came up with the idea of constructing a time capsule. A lot of time, work, and effort went into this project. For months we worked on making this project come true. We learned many new things in the process. We have used our skills in thinking, writing, and planning. Most of all, we learned that teamwork gets the job done. This project has really made us feel proud and important. This year, we celebrate the bicentennial of our Constitution, that wonderful and important document written by the forefathers of our country. It seems fitting that we should create a time capsule for the students who will follow us 50 years from now. The time capsule contains more than just artifacts. It holds our hopes, dreams, and wishes for the future. We would like to share the letter we wrote to the, student, to the students of 2037. <laughs> Dear Montella students, how are you? We have just survived a long, harsh winter in the flood of 87. Now we are looking forward to a beautiful spring and summer vacation that follows. Our fourth grade experience has been terrific. We wonder if your school year has been as fantastic as ours. First of all, allow us to tell you a little bit about ourselves. Our clothing styles are kind of funky and you will probably laugh over pictures of us. Boys favor t-shirts and jeans. In warm weather, they wear Hawaiian shirts. Girls like to wear turtleneck shirts and designer jeans. We all like to wear sneakers which have such names as Nike, Reebok, Kangaroo, and Jock. Has your taste in food changed over the last 50 years? Or do you still like the flavor, favorite foods? Our fast foods which we like best include pizza, Italians, and tacos. We also like eating nutritious meals such as turkey, seafood, and steak dinners. Ice cream is our favorite dessert. Do you still have flavors like M&M, bubblegum, Mississippi mud? At school, the cafeteria salad bar has been popular with us. At 
At one time or another, we all like to listen to music. Some of our favorite singers include rock groups with outrageous names like Bon Jovi, BC Boys, and Kiss. Bruce Springsteen is the boss of rock and roll, while Madonna is the queen. They say that rock and roll will live forever. Do you still enjoy our music? Please don't think that we are obsessed with rock and roll. We have also listened to classic music by Mozart and Beethoven. Our days are filled with lots of free time activities. Outdoor recess may be an energetic game of dodgeball, chase, or four squares. Rainy days mean indoor recess. We usually play quiet games like Hayman or Quizmo, a computerized game. We also like to draw. Do you still enjoy the games we have today? Even though we're only fourth graders, we think about serious things. Take drugs and alcohol, for instance. This year we learned a lot about them and what they do to your body in a special program called CAP, Children Are People. We hope by the year 2037 there won't be any more drugs or alcohol because they can destroy you. As fourth graders, we are afraid that pollution will ruin our environment. We built a moon colony to answer the question of what would happen if the earth became so polluted that we couldn't live on it any longer. Our lakes and streams are getting so polluted that our fish and sea animals are either dying or poisonous to eat. When people throw dirty things into the water, they pollute our lakes, streams, rivers, and oceans. Factories release fumes that go into the clouds and down comes acid rain. Our environment is also being polluted by the trash that people throw away carelessly. When farmers spray dangerous chemicals on plants to keep bugs off their crops, they endanger people's lives. Have you solved the problem of pollution? Are the trees still green? Is the sky still blue? Are the waters still full of living things? The threat of nuclear war terrifies us. We're afraid that while we're in school, there could be missiles flying over right now. We're afraid that our fathers or brothers will have to go to war. We remember the people who went to Vietnam and never came back. In the Star Spangled Banner, it talks about how the flag was still there. Now we wonder if we have war. Is our flag still going to be there? Kids find that divorces happen more than usual. Could Kids should have a say in divorce, but they know it's pretty much a grown-up problem. Sometimes kids get stuck in the middle of the problem and they don't really like it. It isn't easy to have to choose which parent you will have to live with. We hope that parents 50 years from now won't get divorced as much as, as they did in 1987. Do you think you have as many problems with divorce as we do? We hope that divorce is cut down. One of the things we learned this year is that there are many types of families. Even though a two-parent family seems ideal, other family groups can be just as good as long as there is love, sharing, and caring. We are a nation of lasting traditions. Many of our holidays are tied in with events that happened in American history. This year, we celebrate the 200th birthday of our United States Constitution. For 200 years, Americans have enjoyed such freedoms as the right to vote, to worship as they please, to meet in peaceful groups, to speak and write their opinions, and to have trial by jury. Some people take these freedoms for granted but we hope that you will treasure the Constitution and what it means. We wish you many good things. One of our wishes is that you won't be bombarded with confusing messages from the media. Our society is extremely complex. We hope your lifetime will be simpler and easier to adapt to. We are all aware that someday our time will come to leave this earth. We all hope that our good ideas, dreams, and wishes and traditions will live on from generation to generation. If you make use of learning, you will definitely get a good education. Go for the gold. So then, children of the year 2037, we hope you enjoy our time capsule and the things we have shared with you. We wish you a good life. To whom it may concern, 
it is our wish that this time capsule be remembered by the citizens of Lewiston 50 years from now. For that reason, we would like this document kept in a safe place so that a record of special information will be preserved. The time capsule is located at the base of the flagpole in front of Montello's entrance. This location is approximately 62 meters from the edge of the Harkin Road traveling in a northeast direction. Attached to this letter is a list of artifacts that are buried in the capsule. The capsule, capsule is a plastic drum which is air and water type. The drum has been placed into a sealed vault. A plaque will be set on the spot, the burial site, to mark the spot. It is our wish that a system for remembering the time capsule be created so that the future employees of our institution will be known when, the un when to unearth the capsule. This time capsule should be dug up on May 29, 2037 by the fourth grade students of Montello School and or the descendants of the members of this class, signed and dated on, May, on the 29th day of May in, in the year of, of our Lord, 1987, fourth grade class, 29 Montello School. At this time, we would like our principal, Mr. Hood, to share a few remarks with us. very pleased with the work and accomplishments that these students have done to come here today and to have the time capsule take place here at Montello School. The amount of effort that went into this time capsule was tremendous. The students themselves went out and solicited to the community to see if they would donate the various items that you see here for the time capsule. They made personal telephone calls to community leaders and asking them if they wouldn't help assist them with their time capsule. They wrote letters to various community letters in hopes to get them to join us here today. And as you can see, the donations and the efforts put in by these students has been tremendous. And I'm very pleased, as I know Mr. Bushy is, and Ms. Giampaolo is, with the efforts that the students have put into the time capsule. I hope that 50 years from now, I'll be able to come here and unearth the time capsule and be able to say that I was part of it. And to the students, I'm very, very proud of your efforts, and I hope 50 years from now, I can share this same ceremony with you again. Thanks a lot. We feel very honored to have so many distinguished guests with us today. Especially Mayor Ford. Mayor Ford, do you please say a few words? Very fortunately, the mic is exactly the right time for <laughs> Good morning. I'm very happy to be here this morning. Very proud, honored to have been asked on a beautiful day as we have today to be here with the students, the staff, and the teachers of Montello School. On behalf of the City Council, on behalf of the Citizens of Wilson Light, to express our congratulations to the students, to the staff, and the teachers that worked so hard to put together this special event. The impressions I have this morning, first, the organization, the ability of these young people to be able to step forward and speak in public, their message, their thoughts, what they're speaking about is very, very appropriate, very commendable. I'd also like to give the other impression that I do have as mayor to go from school to school and work in the public. I like and enjoy working with the young people. The enthusiasm, the team spirit, and the school spirit which is being demonstrated here this morning. The spirit of the ability of people working together. And when you work together for a project, when you work together for a civic project or a school project, the people working together is strength. And you see the power of people working together, getting a project put together. And this is what it's all about. And obviously it's a little young in life to start getting too heavy talk involved on what 
how things work. But what you're doing is being done properly. Keep your, your school spirit, your team spirit, when you go to high school, uh, vocational school, the trades, or college. And keep the same attitude of looking to the future, of having hope, and being very optimistic. This is how it all works. It's always a beautiful day. Even though it's raining, forget about it, tomorrow it's going to be sunny. Look towards the future. That's what makes America work. We can't forget June 14th is Flag Day. Flag Day is a very important event because one is my birthday. Secondly, <laughs> I don't want any more of those. And secondly, we all know that we live in the best, most just country in the world. We've heard it all before. Sometimes we take it for granted. It's a country which offers us freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and freedom of free assembly. Let's keep this flag waving. Thank you very much. Special thanks to the benefactors and all those who work and our chair lady, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. into the vault. As the capsule is lower, we will launch 23 balloons as a symbol of the 23 students in this class.
has a simple message. We are the past, you are the future. So many people helped us prepare for this special event. On behalf of our class in Michigan Parlor, I'd like to thank all of our friends and benefactors. You believed in us. You encouraged us. You're very special. that you please stand for the recessional. We asked our invited guests to please join us in the band room for lunch following the ceremony. <laughs> 